Hi there, it's Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike, and uh, today we're looking at a monoband end fed half wave for 40 meters. Hi there, and welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Tim, call sign is G5TM, based on the south coast of England. If you like what you see, uh, click the subscribe button or click that bell button to be told of any future videos. Well, today uh, I'm well, we're going to show you anyway uh, a 40 meter antenna, an end fed half wave. It's a monoband antenna, so we're going to look at that, do a quick review on it, and uh, see how well she's actually she actually does. And also have a look at the install too. Now there's plenty of stuff online about end fed half waves. I'm not going to do a little tutorial about that this evening. Uh, but generally, you've got the multi band end fed half waves, which tend to be fed by a 49 to 1, 50 to 1, or 60 to 1 transformer, and then you have the uh, monoband end fed half waves which as the name implies purely operate on one band and this is the one we're looking at today it's made by a company called UK Antennas I've paid for it myself so I'm a I'm a customer I haven't been sent it for review or anything and uh, I put it through its paces in the last seven days I just want to share with you what I found antenna. the antenna itself is fed with uh, an LC circuit and what you have there is basically uh, an air wound coil and a coax uh, stub capacitor. And what that does is make it quite an efficient antenna. Obviously it's N-fed, so you still have the, the need to probably have some form of uh, very short counterpoise or uh, a common mode choke after about 10 foot or so of coax, which is what I've done. And it works quite well. Uh, and the antenna itself is purely monoband, so it's not to be used on any other frequencies. With the usual caveat, if you do that, then with the high SWR, may damage the transceiver. So it's purely cut for the 40 meter band. So then, let's have a look at the installation, uh, how I tuned the antenna, and uh, above all, following that, how well she's done. So here's the antenna then. Uh, it goes up vertically from the feed point there on the left about 19 feet up to an inverted V, and then back down vertically to around seven feet off the ground. A close-up look at the transformer the uh, with the LC circuit in, and uh, there's the cat having a good look. Alvin, his name is. And there's the wire going up uh, a little bit up there, then to the left, and then up the pole. So here's the SWR reading. Uh, initially the antenna was a bit long, folded it back about uh, 3 to 4 inches, started getting it a bit nearer until we got to around 7 megahertz at the uh, lowest SWR and eventually we got to where we wanted to be at 7.1 and as you can see with it set at that sort of resonant frequency we've got a decent reading at 7.15 and at the top of the band in Europe at 1.6 to 1 at 7.197. And another final look at the uh, transformer there in place. So here's the common mode choke in place uh, around six feet, two meters from the feed point. So the antenna was set up on the morning of Saturday the 25th of April. So we're looking just to get a 40 meters. So we've been really rocking into Europe, no problems at all. Uh, contacts there, of course, into places like uh, Germany, Italy and uh, We've got Switzerland there. Ignore some of the 10 meter stuff. I've been doing 10 meters as well on a different antenna. And then look what we've got. So we've got again, we've got plenty of Swiss, it was a Swiss contest last weekend. Uh, up to Scotland, uh, we've been over to Finland. Uh, what else? We've got France, Portugal, uh, not Portugal, Poland, um, da, 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 Czech Republic. Uh, yeah. All over Europe, really, without any problems at all. And if we go down further there, again, as you can see, plenty of uh, of sort of uh, Swiss stuff going on last weekend. And then during the week, we're using it quite a bit too. So we're going now into the at uh, the end of April again. So again, we have to Scotland with it, no problem. So it basically, it's been crashing into Europe, absolutely no problems at all. It functions about as well as you would expect a uh, low dub dipole to do. Um, as you can see with the installation, uh, both ends of the end fed, the fed end and also the far end, are approximately between six to eight feet off the ground. And it goes up like a house, goes up like a vertical, slopes up to the top of the apex of the inverted V, uh, goes down to the other end of the inverted V and then back down vertically then. So it's a bit like a house really, 
uh, two walls and, and the and the roof, if you see what I mean, like a child's drawing of a house. Um, it works really well, and the apex is about 31 feet up, so um, it does a decent job. Um, I haven't had a chance to work any DX. Here's a lot of VK and ZL last Sunday morning. I came out early into the shack, couldn't get across to them. Uh, too many big, big stations in my way, running lots of power. But, you know, for a 1500 to 2000 mile saunter across Europe, uh, this antenna fits the bill. And what's really surprised me as well about it is the noise floor is actually on a par, if not slightly lower, than the centre-fed doublet I had up before. So maybe the wires are orientated a little bit away from the house than the doublet was. That probably helps. But you know what? For an N-fed, people say N-feds are really noisy. Well, I've got an S3 noise floor in the day up to S5 in the evening. And for any antenna on 40 metres in a fairly built-up area, that's not too bad. So then, overall, my thoughts about the antenna? Well, I really like it. I really, really like it. Now, I've got a dilemma, you see, because... Um, I've only got a small garden, 30 by 20 foot, which is 10 by 7 metres. So it's a small garden. I could just about fit uh, an antenna of this size. And in fact, you can see I had to chop some of the wires off. So I've got about 64 foot of wire here. And it fits really well and works really well for 40 metres. But I've got a dilemma. You see, at the moment, I've just got 40 metres and 10 metres. But of course, I like 20 metres as well. And if I'm really greedy, maybe 15, something like that. Now, I do have an option for that. That's going to be my next video, because as I said at the start, there are two types of N-fed half-waves. You've got ones fed with uh, the LC circuit like this, which is a monobander. And as I said earlier, you've got the multiband ones, probably more popular ones because of their, uh, their ability to bring in different bands with one antenna. That's the next one I'm going to look at. So in our next video, we're going to try out a uh, 49 to 1 fed multiband antenna and uh, see how that does. But I have to say, having done some very simple tests, unfortunately I haven't got the ability to put up two separate wires to compare 40 metres and the two antennas. So what I have to do is rush out, swap over the antenna wire to the 49 to 1 and see whether there's any noticeable difference. Not very scientific. Um, I don't notice much of a difference at all, I have to say. Uh, one difference I do notice is that on the 49 to 1, the SWR is flatter uh, for quite a period below and above uh, the 40 meter band which does give me some suspicion that there is a potential that the monobander the one I have up now or the one you've just seen is probably a little bit, a little bit more efficient how much more and what difference it makes probably not much given the current band conditions uh, given the level of QSB there is about at the moment, quite often, especially during the day, probably not going to make that much difference. But um, who knows? Uh, I might invest in a Whisper, one of those Sota Beam's little Whisper gizmos. And uh, whilst I can't run it directly AB, I might do uh, a set period of time uh, for both antennas and keep repeating those periods of time over maybe a month or six weeks and then compare what we've got to see whether there's any noticeable difference on 40 metres. That's maybe a project for the future. Anyway, uh, for the next one then, we're going to have a look at the 49 to 1 and give you an idea again on how NFED half waves can work for you as a possible antenna solution at home in a typical small British garden like mine. Thank you for watching. This is Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike, wishing you 7-3, stay safe, all the best to you and yours, and hope to catch you again in the next one. Bye-bye.